Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I'm at a brand new service panel, panel for this house, or also known as a sub panel. And if you've got a relatively new house, you're going to see this type of breaker system in it more than likely. And you'll notice that there's purple and white buttons that go up and down here. These are individual breakers. And some of these are ground fault, others are arc fault, and it could be a combination of the two. And so if you're using your hair dryer or whatever and all of a sudden it stops working, if there's not a, a GFCI receptacle in the bathroom, this is where you're going to have to go to reset that circuit. And the manufacturers actually request, uh, at least some of them do, that you go and test these buttons periodically and that's to make sure that they're still functioning. And so most of your bedrooms are going to have arc fault protection and then your bathrooms and other uh, potential wet areas will have ground fault protection and there again like I say some of these could be dual AFCI and GFCI. And so this panel box looks pretty good so far. I haven't opened it up yet and it's also proper labeled and so if you're selling your home uh, and you live in an older house, you don't necessarily have to add these uh, GFCI breakers or arc fault breakers if, if it wasn't code at the time. But one thing you should do is go ahead and label the service points of all these breakers because you know that does it's it is a safety issue, and that's something something I do write up in a report if they're not properly marked. And so I kind of figured I would share this information with you uh, so you'll know if you've got a new house you know, what this particular style of breaker is for, and all of a sudden you don't have power at any point in your house, this is where you need to come. And sometimes you may have to uh, set this thing a, a certain way, because some breakers are different than others. You, they may not even look tripped. You know, this, uh, these are all in the on position, but let's go ahead and test this one. I'm gonna go ahead and push the button. See, notice how it comes up red, and the breaker's in the middle. And so in order to reset this, you have to go back and forth to reset it, all the way back and then all the way forward, and that will reset this breaker. Now, if it keeps tripping, that means you've got some sort of problem, and you should uh, contact a qualified electrician to come out and evalu evaluate what that issue is. So anyway, I hope this has been somewhat informative. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and also please subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the Facebook page because we do have different videos on both those forums. Thanks again and take care.